Hi, it's Steve. Today we're going to show you how to change the drain hose assembly on your washer. That's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a large flat blade screwdriver, a number two Phillips screwdriver, and a pair of slip joint pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to pull the washer far enough forward that we can access the back of it, and we'll also need to disconnect the power. So remember to pull the plug. Now next we're going to loosen two Phillips screws at the back corners of the console. You can remove them completely or if you choose just leave them partially in, back them off enough that they will clear the main top. And then just give the console a little bump forward on both sides and then roll that console completely over the back. Now our next step will be to disconnect the lid switch. So lift up on the locking tab on the harness and pull that away. And then with a large flat blade screwdriver, we're going to disengage these hooks that hold the back panel to the cabinet. So with the flat blade, we'll go down into the hook on that bracket. We'll just fit that into there and pop that loose. Do the same on the opposite side. Unhook them from the back panel and set those aside. Now at this point, we can lift the whole cabinet away from the back. So we just tilt it slightly forward, lifting up so that we clear the water inlet. And if you wish, you can raise the lid and grasp the inside edge of the tub opening. Lift it off the front of the washer and set it aside. Now if there's still water in that hose, we'll need a container here. We're just going to loosen this clamp by compressing it and slide it back onto the hose. We'll also need to remove that clamp to use it on the replacement drain hose. Now next we'll need to release the little arrowhead fasteners on that retainer. We'll do the same at the back. So next we're going to depress these little arrowhead fasteners on that clamp and pull that through. And then at the top, we'll do the same. And then just pivot that away and pull it through. Now before we install the new hose, I'm just going to take the outlet end of that, push that back through the mounting bracket. We'll fit the inlet end of it in underneath this left front suspension leg. Slide the outlet of the hose out through the rectangular opening in, in the back panel. And then we're going to engage these clips along that metal edge. Make sure it's pulled up tight to that side and then snap in the retaining clips on the opposite side. So they engage, line up the arrowheads on the new clamp on the bottom, fit that through the opening. Next we'll reinstall that clamp onto the new hose. And just set it back far enough. Install that holder, inserting those little arrowhead fasteners into the opening on that leg. Now 
position the clamp onto the pump outlet. Make sure that hose is fully inserted until it meets the little stop. And we can now put the cabinet back on. Now when reinstalling the cabinet, we want to make sure that the lip on the bottom front of that cabinet fits in underneath this cross rail on the frame. And you'll also note that there are a couple of raised tabs on the base that will fit into rectangular openings on the bottom side lips of that cabinet as well. So we'll need to make sure that we engage those and that will keep it aligned properly. So it's easier if you open the lid and you can see down through the front to make sure that we have it lined up side to side properly and that that lip of the cabinet goes under the base frame and just make sure that that bottom lip goes right underneath the cross rail and just make sure that we push that cabinet all the way back so that those tabs on the base frame engage the holes in the cabinet and make sure the rear ones line up now we'll take those clips hook them into the openings on the back panel line up the two openings in the main top take our flat blade screwdriver and press those down into place. Remember to reconnect the lid switch and that the locking tab engages. We can then roll that console forward and we're going to line up these hooks on the end caps with the rectangular openings in the top. Once they're lined up, pull it straight back. We'll take our Phillips screwdriver and tighten up the retaining screws. We can now reconnect the drain hose to the outlet, our fill hoses if we had to remove those, reconnect the power, and our repair is complete.